Africa Growth Corridor is an interesting one, isn't it? I'm wondering whether this is going to get China's back up because they're also furiously pushing their One Belt, One Road project. Are they, are they going to compete for investment or is there the possibility that the opportunities are so large that they will complement each other? It's the latter, uh, Mandy. Uh, the, the opportunity in Africa is huge. Uh, so I view these as complementary efforts, and the winner is going to be Africa. Uh, Africa needs funding. The opportunity is huge. If you just take infrastructure in Africa, today I think the estimated spend is about 50 billion, but the deficit is another 50 billion. Uh, if you look at the demographics of Africa, two-thirds of the population is under the age of 35. Mm. And in another 15 to 20 years, Africa will have more people of a working age than either India or China. Uh, if you take agriculture, 60% of the world's uncultivated arable land is in Africa. Uh, resources is often the story. I mean, Africa has got huge resources. So there, there's, a, there's a booming consumer there, and Africa is going to be the real next frontier for growth. So it's not just India, China, Japan, but also Chancellor Merkel uh, recently, as you know, uh, asked German companies to focus on Africa. So. We are excited about Africa at Gateway and everybody should be. Which particular countries in Africa? There are 54, 55 countries in Africa. Which ones offer the most opportunity for investment or are ripe for investment? I think there are a whole slew of them. I mean, whether it's Nigeria, which is the largest uh, uh, country in the, uh, on the continent in terms of GDP, or uh, Kenya, uh, or Rwanda, or Tanzania, there are a whole slew of them. But I think the way to look at Africa is really, when we look at investing into Africa, we look at companies which have got uh, uh, op uh, operations in multiple uh, locations, mm -hmm. because that's how we build scale in Africa, because each one of the individual markets may lack scale. So one of the companies we have invested in, Liquid uh, Telecom, we provide optic fiber infrastructure across 13 countries, uh, over 50,000 kilometers of fiber. Uh, it is the largest player on the continent. So those are the sorts of things to look at.